Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Wednesday, the third day of August 2022. Over the next few days, not much happening out there. This is the 48 hour chart, and that extends out into the next 120 hours, getting us through the first full week of August. No worries in the Atlantic Basin for now. All of the activity is in the Eastern Pacific, and uh, we have Georgette out there, the remnants of it anyway. That area in yellow, not really too concerned with that. The area in red should stay off the coast of Mexico. So why is the Eastern Pacific so busy? Let's take a quick look at the upper level winds. This is way up at the, at the uh, 200 millibar level of the atmosphere, about where commercial airliners fly. And you look right here, this is uh, an upper level area of high pressure, an anticyclone aloft, and that provides sort of an umbrella that protects tropical systems from being sheared. And you see these streamlines down here. Those are winds coming out of the east. They are not particularly strong. And so there's just this sweet spot in the eastern Pacific. It's interesting, too, because it's pretty much the only place along the entire globe where tropical cyclone activity is prevalent right now. Who would have thought, you know, the western Pacific is dead. The Atlantic Basin is dead for now. And the uh, sweet spot, as I said, here in the eastern Pacific, where the upper level winds are pretty conducive for development. And we can see that if we go down a little bit in the atmosphere and put this into motion, this is the 850 millibar level or about 5,000 feet up, a little bit under a mile. And you can see these areas of vorticity or energy coming together. And uh, that's one system there. Uh, that's the system that was outlined in red and that should stay off the coast of Mexico, maybe bringing some swells to the Baja and areas along Pacific Mexico as that develops over time. Not much in the Atlantic Basin over the next five days, that's for sure. Tropical waves, those are out there. Those pieces of energy coming off of Africa, yes, they are there. But the dry air remains in place, not the uh, setup that is conducive for development right now. And we can see that, although I will point out the pinks and the darkest reds now are starting to lift more and more to the north. Gradually, slowly but surely, the pattern is going to change. We will have more of a moist atmosphere setting up in the tropical Atlantic. I mean, it's only August 3rd. We still have about two weeks to go, plus or minus a few days, until climatology really begins to catch up. And I think things will start to shift to a more favorable pattern as we go through. And I mean, it just makes sense. Plus, we look at uh, the sea surface temperature anomalies real quick here. And this is the latest climatology. Right up there, you see where it says 1991 to 2020. That is important. It is the latest climatological 30-year uh, background state. And even on that particular background state, you know, you have to have a departure from an average. Well, what makes up that average? In this case, 1991 through 2020. And look at all those reds and oranges in the eastern Atlantic now starting to fill in a little bit more. And that tells us that eventually, once things do become favorable in the atmosphere, that the ocean will be ready as well. And we'll probably have a flurry of activity as we head towards the middle and more than likely, honestly, the end of the month of August. That's typically when we will be looking for activity anyway. And that's what I expect to happen. All right. Well, that is it for me for today. Have a great rest of your mid part of the week. I'm Mark Sadov, Hurricane Track. Appreciate you tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow morning.